Christian Oncology at Duke University, and I'd like to share with you some of our recent results on the randomized trial using hypothermia and radiation for superficial tumors. Um, basically, uh, as part of the trial, uh, patients had to have tumors which were um, within three centimeters from the surface of the body. And most of the patients who we enrolled had a chest wall with heart and breast cancer. Um, what we did was uh, test these patients to see if they were heatable, and the majority of them were. And we randomized them to twice the week rate uh, hypothermia with radiation versus no further hypothermia. And the endpoints were clinical complete response at the treatment site and duration of local control. Um, I'd like to show you an example of the um, treatment. This is a patient who had uh, a lesion on her back. And you may not see it too well in, in this picture, but she had actually a tumor within this blue area. And then we put the, an electron field for radiation therapy purposes with a good 2 to 3 cm margin around that area. We also heated the tumor in that area. And in order to measure the temperature inside the tumor, we placed a catheter, which you can see right here, through the long axis of the tumor to measure the temperatures. Our, our goal in heating these tumors was to achieve a temperature of about 40 to 43 degrees centigrade for one hour in each hypothermia treatment. And um, this is an example of the uh, thermometry catheter. And then in addition, we do a uh, surface thermometry to help monitor the skin temperatures uh, in order to avoid um, any uh, injury to the skin. The most common side effect with this hypothermia treatment is a small area of, of burn on the first or second degree on the skin. But we see that only about 5 to 10 percent of the time. What was very um, encouraging to us in terms of the results is that the patient who had the heat treatment had a higher uh, complete response rate. And by that, what I mean is that we had a complete disappearance of all the visible tumor. So you'll see in this graph, the patients who had the, um, radiation alone, about 42 or 43 percent of those patients had a complete disappearance of tumor. That increased to 68 percent when we added the heat treatment. And as you can see in these two curves, if the, if the patients were in the high dose arm, they had a better chance of a complete response, and this was also a durable response. Those curves stayed apart.